should I do DSC1? So if you saw the last video about whether I should join Basque or not, whilst discovering that, I happened to then be on the Basque website and saw all about DSC1. Now I've heard DSC1 banded about a number of different times, so I thought I'd look into it, talk it through on camera, and then uh, ask for a bit of input as to whether it's gonna be helpful. I'm pretty sure it will be helpful for my FAC journey. In doing so, I'm just documenting the sort of research into it. So I've got my laptop in front of me and I'll talk it through with you. DSC1, the aim. The deer stalking certificate, both DSC1 and DSC2, is available from a number of assessment centres around the country, one of which is Basque. Basque DSC1 courses are designed for the sports person who has recently taken up stalking and seeking further advice and guidance. The courses will provide an insight into a wider understanding of deer stalking techniques and deer management. A successful delegate will be awarded the deer management qualifications, deer stalking certificate one, and the large game theory element of DMQ, wild game meat hygiene. To gain full to gain full large game trained hunter status to meet the food hygiene regulations 2004, individuals will need to undertake the DSC2 after successful completion of DSC1. Okay. Rifles will be provided for those who do not own one. You should be able to hit consistently a four inch target at 100 meters and shoot laying down, kneeling and off sticks for the shooting element of the assessment. Makes sense. It is advisable to gain some experience shooting a deer calibre rifle in the positions and at distances between 70 and 100 metres prior to attending the course. I definitely would do that. Demand for the DSC1 course is usually high and places are allocated on first come first serve. So cost. Basque members 295, not available to non-members. Course length four days, wow. Important information, we recommend that DSC1 candidates start studying at least eight weeks prior to your course. Ammunition must be factory produced, no home loaded ammunition. 2-2 centre fire ammunition must be bullet weight, 50 grain or more, and a thousand feet pound muzzle energy. Members who hold a current FAC will be required to produce it for inspections at Basque course events. All members will be required to sign the Section 21 declaration. So will I get will I get trained hunter if I book my DSC1 course before 1st of April 21? Any, pers any person booking for a DSC1 course or assessment before April 1st 21 will, when gaining DSC1, also obtain trained hunter. What calibre rifle do I need? It needs to be a deer legal calibre. Ammunition should be factory produced. No home, no home loaded ammunition. Can I borrow a rifle? Yes. What experience do I need? Here we go. You do not need any experience of stalking if you attend a training course run by one of the assessment centres. If you have no experience of stalking, knowledge or deer relevant legislation, then it is likely that you need to do some studying and gain some experience before attempting DSC1 assessment. It, it is recommended you allow eight weeks study. What if I'm unsuccessful? What if I'm unsuccessful? You will be issued a referral sheet which details which assessments you need to reset. You have three years from the date of your original assessment to retake those remaining assessments. Can I just do the assessments without having to attend the training part of the course? Yes, you can book onto the assessment only. This usually involves attending the final days of the existing course to undertake the assessments. How old do I need to be? You need to be over 18. So let's have a little look on this website now, which is dmq.org.uk forward slash DSC1. So DSC1 assessment test knowledge and skills of the following areas. Deer biology and ecology, legislation, stalking techniques and taking the shot, deer identification, safety, shooting, large game meat hygiene. The DSC has the following five modules written. This has 50 multiple choice questions which are taken from the bank of written questions to pass. You need at least 40. Visual. Candidates are shown 20 images covering the six species of wild deer. The species and sex have to be identified for each image and both must be correct to gain the mark. To pass, candidates must obtain 16 marks out of a possible 20. Game meat hygiene. This has 40 multiple choice questions taken from a bank of wild game meat hygiene questions. 
These cover areas such as recognising normal and abnormal behaviour, common diseases, signs of ill health, possible source of contamination and hygienic working techniques. There are also food hygiene questions on risk to human health, use of veterinary medicines on wild deer, food safety and notable diseases. You need 32 questions to be answered correctly. Candidates have walked around a safety assessment path during which they are shown four deer targets and asked to specify whether they would shoot at them or not. Candidates are additionally asked nine other questions on safety and must all be answered correctly to obtain a pass. So shooting two shots into the chest killing area of a DMQ target from 100 metres, the shooting position is prone or from a simulated high seat. Two shots into the chest killing area of a DMQ deer target from 70 metres, the shooting position must be standing, kneeling, sitting, sitting or kneeling and before normal ways such as bipods or sticks may be used. Two shots into the humane dispatch head killing area of a deer target from 10 to 20 metres. The shooting position is standing and sticks may be used. Wow. So that is quite a full on course, really. Um, a lot to do. I'm going to try and um, I'm going to try and sort of get this done, you know, get prepared for it in the next sort of 12 to, to 24 months. But I thought I would introduce you to me being introduced to it. Um, and see sort of how I get on. But I think it's a great course um, and I really want that information so that I can do things properly. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll keep lots of different updates coming. If you're interested in anything or got any questions you want to ask me, let me know. Please hit that subscribe button as always. I'm definitely going to be doing DSC1. I'm not going to be booking anything just yet. I'm nowhere near ready, but um, I look forward to when I do. And I'll, uh, I'll see you soon for the next video.